Roosters enforcer Jared Waria Hargreaves will front the NRL judiciary tomorrow as he fights to play in Saturday night's final against the Seagulls. The Kiwi International is facing a one-week ban for using a forearm to the throat of Rabideau, Chris McQueen. All eight skippers were on board at the finals launch, but the Roosters faced the prospect of losing gun prop Jared Waria Hargreaves for Saturday's showdown with Manly. That's not good, you know, we need him in our side to, to perform well, but um, if, if it doesn't, uh, Luke O'Donnell's coming back for us this week too, so uh, that's, a, that's a great thing for us. Whoever they bring in is going to be uh, strong and uh, tough, that's even if he's out. South Sam Burgess escaped action for his niggle and is free to play Melbourne. I definitely won't be baiting any of the Burgess boys. I, uh, they've got about 40 kilos on me, so I'll be staying well away from them, trust me. Probably doesn't need that stuff in his game, but... Um... In saying that, we want him to be as aggressive as possible. As for the side, most skippers fear. Oh, I'd say the Roosters, mate. They're minor premiers. Uh, the Roosters. Probably the Roosters at the moment. They're playing some good football. No doubt, uh, you know, everyone uh, will be chasing them, I would imagine. While no sides won the title from outside the top four under the current format, even the Cowboys' rivals fear the firepower they bring to the finals. Yeah, probably a bit more X-factor than what we've got with, with Matty Bowen and Thurston. We've got momentum at the moment and that's a big thing in the finals. But the Sharks say their win against the Raiders shows their minds are on the job despite ongoing uncertainty over the Asada investigation. People have been talking about it all year. It it's, it's, uh, looks like something that we're dealing with at the moment and yeah, look, we're, we're just waiting to play footy and we're playing do or die footy now. Patrick Mullahan, 7 News.